fits, but just barely. And not just on the height. Look how close we came here. That is all the room we got on all four sides. All right, it's in and it is awesome. Uh, you might notice this video is a couple days late. That has never happened before. Since we decided to commit to two videos a week on this channel, we have never missed or been late. And I'll be damned if we're gonna miss, but I'm sorry it's a couple days late. Basically what had to happen is I had to Basically what had to happen is I had to completely disassemble the entire lifting mechanism chop off two inches of the trailer jack and put it all back together. That was easier said than done. In fact, I spent an entire day, way more effort than it was really worth. Although now I'm really happy with it. I'm glad I spent the day doing it. The assembly went about exactly as I would expect. It took about nine and a half hours. Uh, if I had worked on the lift mechanism on Saturday, I would have finished by Sunday night, but I took a little bit of footage, but after the first clip, I decided I was not gonna run back and forth to my camera to try and film me assembling this thing. The very first thing I cut, was just my name. Then I decided to up the ante a little bit and throw our logo in the software. It's a lot more complex, obviously, than just my name. And look at this. It did a phenomenal job. Really, I'm amazed. It took no calibration, no testing, no tuning. As soon as I was done setting it up, I was cutting this. But those were both kind of just decor test pieces. I wanted to get some utility out of this thing. So the first thing I thought was, I wonder if I could make a knob to replace the missing one on my bandsaw. And I did exactly that, check it out. Now I would be lying if I said it was that easy. It actually took me one, two, three, four, five, six attempts to get it right. But now that I've got it all dialed in, I should be able to make one more in just about 10 minutes. Right now I've got all the power supply and controller on the side. I'm actually going to drill a hole right here and mount everything up underneath so that it's out of the way. All right, that took a total of 12 minutes to cut. And over here it says, how did it turn out? And you say, yay, it looks great, thank you. And then we're done. So the machine leaves these little tabs on the back that you just cut out. So we take a knife. Okay, two of those. Now, hopefully, this will fit just like this. Good. Perfect, and then hopefully this fits right on top. Now we glue it up and let it sit. Now that I'm done, I just lower the X-carve, put the top back on, and I've got a workbench and an outfeed table. Thank you guys again. Sorry this was a couple days late. We'll be back on schedule on Friday, and then our first build on Sunday with the CNC. And I don't know what it's gonna be yet. I have a few ideas. We'll see you then. Bye.